Welcome to Scandinavia in Sweden. Which Scandinavian country is the best? Scandinavia, Vikings, right? Viking hiking! The meaning of Scandinavia is a group of countries in Northern Europe that includes Denmark, Norway and Sweden. Sometimes also Finland. Woo! Welcome to Finland, Iceland and the amazing Faroe Islands. Welcome to Faroe you could also say Greenland, which technically is Danish territory, but it's very far away from the rest of us, even though us Danish people love Greenland a lot. Yeah, exactly. Let's compare the Scandinavian countries a bit. In the geographic region of Scandinavia, there are three countries, Denmark, Sweden and Norway. I have been to both Norway and Sweden more than 20 times each and here are some of the differences between Denmark and these two. But I as a Scandinavian person feel strange about letting out Finland completely. We all have different flags, passports, official languages and written standards. Uh, and in Denmark we say Fleskestej. Usually the words in Denmark are a little bit longer than Sweden. Sweden is easier. Probably, yeah. <laughs> All Scandinavian countries are peaceful and safe and recommendable to live in. You will find mostly kind and caring people in all countries. But it's easier to spot here in the summer though. If you come here in summer, you will be seeing happy people. One, size. Denmark is tiny if you don't count Greenland. Sweden is massive but no one lives in the north. Norway is in between but they got the fjord so they are happy anyway. Finland is big and has lots of lakes and so many saunas. 2. Population All our Scandinavian cultures are cold in the meaning that you don't make friends easily. And lots of people dislike to have to engage in conversations with strangers. Denmark is a bit more like the Netherlands. Welcome in Netherlands. Have no mountains, plain areas, are more liberal, attitudes a tad more European, and it's a little warmer. Danes are socially open and friendly, and English is a breeze for most Danish people. Danes eat real lunch. Norwegian people are the most outdoor people. They mostly eat sandwiches for lunch, brought from home and then out in the nature. And they speak in a manner whereby it's impossible to sound angry. I come from Norway. Norwegians are probably the most easygoing people. Sweden is the largest of the countries, which means that the south is the same as Denmark. Also the flag is like a mix between the Swedish flag and the Danish flag. The flag of Scania. And the north is the same as Norway. Swedes can be introverted and hard to get close to, but on the other hand, they are almost never superficial or false. They are also extremely honest, compassionate and humble. 87% of Denmark's population is of Danish descent. 83% of Norway's population is of Norwegian descent. And 80% of Sweden's population is of Swedish descent. Sweden has the highest number of immigrants and Denmark has the lowest. Three prices. Norway is really expensive. The prices are staggering for everything. Norwegians think Sweden is cheap. No foreigner thinks that. Denmark is more expensive than Sweden, but not on the level of Norway. Finland is around the same as Denmark, maybe a bit more expensive. In Sweden and Denmark, taxes are high, but cost of living not as bad as in Norway. Denmark, Finland and Sweden are members of EU, Norway isn't. 4. Alcohol In Norway you can buy alcohol at Vinmonopolet, the wine monopoly. In Sweden it's called Systembolaget, the corporation of the system for everything except pretty weak beer. In Denmark you can buy it almost anywhere. Norwegians buy their alcohol in Sweden, Swedes in Denmark and Danes in Germany. I'm from Finland, I'm Finnish. Finnish people take the ferry to Tallinn in Estonia to get drunk. <laughs> Five, food. Fortical is Norway's national dish and a glimpse into the country's agrarian past. It's a simple stew made with lamb, cabbage, black peppercorns, salt and water. The national dish of Denmark is steak flesh med basilic sauce. Pieces of pork fried until crisp and then served with boiled potatoes and parsley sauce. Sweden's national dish is meatballs. 
or IKEA meatballs. Anyway, so good. The Swedish national dish consists of mashed potatoes, spicy meatballs, a creamy gravy and sourly taste from the cucumber and lingonberries. Swedes also love kanilbulle, the cinnamon bun. Danish people eat smørbrød, the beloved Danish open-faced sandwich. Norwegians eat waffler in the afternoon. Norwegians eat rotten trout, Swedes rotten herring, and Danes eat tiny sandwiches with fresh herring. Norwegians eat more fish, and Norway is more covered with mountains. 6. Business Sweden can assemble and innovate. Hence we see IKEA, Volvo, Saab, and Spotify, etc. They are neat, structured, and effective. Uh, yeah. They also created some of the best musicians like ABBA and Avicii. Danes are great at selling products and making good pastries. Hence we see Danish pastries, Carlsberg and Lego are so popular worldwide. The mass containers you see everywhere in the world are also Danish. The best part, the, the best Denmark. Danes are boisterous merchants and very good at spontaneity. We are the Danish Vikings and we never give up. Finns are so good at educating their people. I think we take care of our, our people here well and I mean it's a welfare state. They have the best education system and probably the best quality of their manpower, making the best out of nowhere. Norwegians are the explorer, the peasants, people who enjoy being outside. Oh, I love being out though, because I'm Norwegian. Humility, no nonsense attitude. Norway has so much oil and the multinational oil and gas company Equinor, formerly known as Statoil, is the largest company in Norway by revenue. There is very little corruption in either of the countries and Denmark has in fact been named as the least corrupt country in the world. In Denmark it's relatively easy to get a job, somewhat more difficult to get an apartment. It's very expensive. In Norway there are a lot of jobs, lots of housing there for the taking. The rents are insane but are compensated by the high salaries. Bergen is by far the most beautiful Norwegian city I've seen. In Sweden it's difficult to find a place to stay where the jobs are and vice versa. A bit higher unemployment rate but also a good work life in the big Swedish cities. The urban life in Copenhagen probably beats any other Scandinavian capital and Denmark is the most liberal country of the three. Many people live in Sweden and work in Denmark because people earn more in Denmark than Sweden. But things are also cheaper in Sweden. It pays off to work in Denmark and use those in Sweden. In Norway you get more salary than Denmark, but Norway is a very expensive country. Your buying power is less than Denmark. Cars cost a fortune in Denmark compared to Germany and Sweden. Norwegians care deeply about the environment and Norway is a leader in the race to adopt electric cars and has so many Teslas on the roads. Great to see. 7. Sports The most popular winter sport in Norway is skiing. In Sweden it's ice hockey while Danes stay indoors and play handball or badminton. Denmark also has the best national football team, Sweden is second, Norway third and Finland fourth. But Norway has an exciting team with big talents for the first time in a long time. One try. Do you agree with these four rankings in football? Please comment below. 8. Nature and Sights Norway and Sweden are on another level than Denmark when it comes to nature. A lot of beautiful unspoiled places. Denmark is more accessible to the rest of Europe. A few hours by car and you are in Paris. Okay, maybe a bit more, but you know what I mean. It's also a flat country with the highest mountain being 171 meters. Denmark still has a nice coast, many beaches and some charming islands. Sweden is a country vastly beautiful in its nature and a lot of wilderness. Norway has amazing mountains and world known for their epic fjords. If you like forest, Sweden. If you like mountains, Norway. If you like farms and fields, Denmark. Norway and Sweden are also much colder than Denmark. 9. The people and their relation to each other. Swedes are as many as all the Danes and Norwegians combined and they are also the biggest in size. Most Scandinavians are sort of xenophobic and don't like strangers melting. Danes are a bit more open to strangers. But once you get a foot inside, all Scandinavians are very heartwarming and welcoming. 
when it comes to languages, Danish and Norwegian are very similar, or indeed almost identical when it comes to vocabulary. But they sound very different. Norwegian and Swedish are closer in terms of pronunciation, but the words differ. Let's imagine the Scandinavian languages as three sisters. And then there's Finland. Uh, let's not mention them, the language is totally different. Anyway, Danish children are the worst. There are more occurrence of curling kids, extremely spoiled kids, than in the other countries, where children from an early age learn traditional virtues like cross-country skiing in Norway, for instance. Norway celebrates its national day with pride and traditional uniforms. Swedes celebrate too, but not on the same level. And Danes were too drunk to remember what happened. Danes like to joke with Swedes for their political correctness, like when the Swedes forbid Pippi Langstrømpe and other cartoons because the cartoons are not political correct anymore. But most of Danish people are also very political correct themselves. I love my home country. That being said, Sweden is the most LGBT friendly country in the world and the feminist movement is strong in Sweden, which is also known as the country of the environmental activist Greta Thunberg. Norwegian jokes are on Swedes mostly. When Stockholm started calling itself the capital of Scandinavia, Norwegians got annoyed while Danes generally ignored it. Denmark and Sweden have historically had the most wars between each other more than any other countries, but now Denmark and Sweden live peacefully side by side. The Norwegian royal family is originally from Denmark, the Swedish is French, while the Danish is German. Our constant banter and bickering in the Scandinavian countries is just a sign of love. If there was an enemy who tried to attack any of us, we would always stick together in Scandinavia. We know we have common cultural and historical heritage. We are family, brother folks, Vikings. 10. Mentality I find Norwegians and Danes to be very alike in many ways, and I never met a Norwegian that I couldn't instantly talk with. Danes are better at talking to people they don't know, I would say, though Swedes are in some cases more accepting. However, they can also be more judgmental. They just don't loudmouth it like Danes do. Denmark is pretty much like the always smiling, beer drinking, laid back uncle that everybody gets along pretty okay with. Hygge is also so important in Denmark. Hygge, Hygge, it's very nice. It's really important for Danish culture and it's basically just having a good time. Norway also has the Hygge concept, where Sweden has mus and lagom. Lagom allows people to enjoy themselves but stay healthy and content at the same time. In Denmark, we like cake. Quiet. Swedes are a bit more private in general. They value relational integrity and may in general not have so many relations and deep conversations with people they don't know very well. Which country do you like the most? It's Norwegian. Norwegians and Danes do that more randomly overall, but if a Swede commits to a friendship, it's in a way more of an honor, you could say. But which country do you like the most? The Norway. And you're from Sweden? Yes. What about Denmark? It's good. Danes are not so private and can talk about almost anything open and in public. Norwegians are probably the most easygoing and always nice and very relaxed people to be around. No, it's not difficult. It's just to be busy and to be successful. Danes usually do things in a faster tempo, whether it's speaking or what it is. But Norwegians are in general more calm and still get the job done. I have been in more than 130 countries in the last five years. Swedes are somewhere in between. Danes may tend to praise themselves as the best Scandinavian sometimes and rage against the politics and this and that, the loudmouth culture. And as for me, as a loudmouth Dane, I will say the best country for me to stay is Denmark, since it's my mother country. By the end of the day, we are the Viking countries and we love and respect each other as a Scandinavian family, though we have a very friendly rivalry between us. I hope we will beat Norway and Sweden in the next football matches. Many countries could learn from how Scandinavians respect their neighbor countries. As a Swedish friend told a foreigner on a travel, come and live in Scandinavia. It's guaranteed that it's better here than where you are currently but not with the weather. Have you been to Scandinavia? What's your favorite of the Scandinavian countries? Please comment below. Remember to subscribe to Gus on the Go.